you know, like I said, with that fish, you want that TC4 rod so it can act like a shock absorber when you've got a big fish like that on the side of the boat. The other thing it does is, I don't know if you noticed this about me, but I can be a little bit hyper at times. So when a fish hits, a softer rod actually helps you delay your hook set. That fish blows up and I try to remain calm, but sometimes I'm gonna get overzealous and that little bit of give can be all the difference in catching a fish or ending up with a bait in your forehead. There he is, big one, big one. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, dude. Come here. Big dude came out. Oh. <laughs> easy, easy. Easy, big mama. <laughs> big dude came out to play. Man, oh man, that bait dropped. And I absolutely seen those pads go. Because there was a freight train coming through. Oh, man. Come here, dude. Big dude. He's got one hook that is flailing. I'm gonna switch hands. So only got one hook in him. Stay on, dude. I gotcha. <laughs> that right there is the kind of beast that eats the walk the frog. People tell you not to go fishing in the summer. The dog days of summer. It's hot, it's miserable. Well, you know what? Life is easy for these guys that time of year. If you give them what they're eating, which is frogs, as the sun starts dropping, the bass start munching. Ooh, I think he was ready to go. I mean, I think he had enough of me and, and my little frog. Let's hope he doesn't tell his friends.